before I do my reveal of my wolf haircut from watching Brad Mondo's video, I wanted to tell a story real quick. Um, cause I, I'm hoping Brad Mondo will hear it because I love the way he is so positive with every video, you know, he opens it up with saying, Hey, beautiful. And you know, our hair reflects, you know, it does reflect a lot of it. It makes us feel certain ways every day. And I just feel like, you know, he's a beautiful person and you can feel it. You can really feel it even through the videos. But anyway, whenever I was, when I was 18 with my first husband, right? I've always been a big girl, but back then I was like 400 pounds. And I mean, not too bad now. I'm just, I'm a, I call myself thick chubby. But anyway, um, he was like maybe 90 pounds soaking wet. I don't know how that happened but anyway. I was saying something about getting my hair highlighted, just highlighted, you know, because that was the end thing back then. I apologize for that truck over there in the neighbors. But anyway, he told me, he's like, what? He said, you don't fit the description of a blonde. I'm like, what? what is the description of a blonde? Like, you got to be a certain way to be a blonde? I don't understand. And like, I'm 40 years old, almost 40 years old now. And I can tell you that that one comment like cut me my whole life like i've never forgotten that now that, that comment was whenever i was 18 or 19 years old i have never ever dyed my hair blonde because of that or gotten pretty highlights or anything like i wanted because i didn't want people to be like oh you know that fat girl got blonde she don't look like a blonde like he really had had me thinking that like that you know but i until, like, now, I don't really think like that anymore. Now, I mean, I even went as far as buying a blonde wig just to see how I would look. And I'm telling you, I wore that thing in public. It was my first wig I ever bought. It was a headband wig, and I wore that thing in public. I got so many compliments, like, and I felt so beautiful. Like, I couldn't believe I let that many years go by and didn't do what I wanted to do with my hair because of a comment that was made by a sorry person. Like, I, I just don't understand that. But life is life, and, you know, I think Brad Mondo does understand the fact that, you know, our hair does define us, and that's how we express ourselves, and mine has been dark and brown my whole life, and it's just reflected my depression and everything, and I'm so sick of it, and so I'm, I am trying to do different stuff with it, although, you know, I am going through another divorce now, and I had to get a place, move out of my property, because... You know, in order to get my property, I have to get a divorce lawyer. So I, I just can't afford that right now because my son's graduated and I, my whole investment. But Brad Mondo, um, my video, video was cut short. But I just wanted to thank you for being so positive and making people, even the people that's not around you, like we're just watching your videos. You make us feel really beautiful, even, you know, even if we're not because, you know, I mean, we mess up our hair because we're trying to be something different. And I'm going through a midlife crisis. And believe me, if I had the $200 to go down my hair blonde, uh, I just want brown roots in my hair, you know, blonde. But if I had the money to do that right now, best believe I would because of the fact that everything that you do, every haircut you show and stuff like that is beautiful on any kind of face. And I hope you do a video more on like, focused on people with round faces because like even though they have videos on that like haircuts that we should get and stuff like that like even long hair on people with round faces I feel like it drags my face out it makes me look my hair color makes my face look dingy and dark and of course I got a filter on because I just got out in the shower but I'm about to reveal my wolf cut in a minute that I watched your tutorial on and I did not point cut I did not do that but um, I just want to say thank you for being such a positive person.